Hello, good evening friend. Today I'm going to explain the you know, exercise problem of coordination compound and the first exercise problem I have taken. Let us see what is the problem and what is the answer of that problem. Explain the bonding in coordination compound in terms of Werner theory, Werner postulates. Okay. So we have to explain the you know, bonding in the coordination compound according to the Werner theory. So Werner theory is, you know, they give for the, you know, uh, bonding in the complex coordination compound and they give that is there are two types of valencies are there okay so that is primary valency and secondary valency and what the, they said that is primary valency is ionizable okay and that can be satisfied by the counter ion and secondary valency they said that is the secondary valency is not ionizable okay and he said that is the secondary valency can be satisfied by the ligands okay so let us see what are the point first of all in coordination compound metals so two types of linkage that is valency okay what are the two types that is primary linkage and secondary linkage okay so what they are saying that is in coordination compound there are two valency are found okay primary valency and secondary valency the primary valency are normally ionizable and are satisfied by negative ion Negative ion like that Cl minus ion, Br minus ion, you know, NO3 minus ion. So these things will satisfy the primary valency. Now what are there? Now the secondary valency are not ionizable. The secondary valency are not ionizable. These are satisfied by neutral molecule or negative ion. The secondary valency is equal to the coordination number of the, you know, fix for a metal, you know means they they are the secondary valency are also saying that is the coordination number of the coordination you know coordination number of the complex and also they are saying that is it is fixed secondary valency is fixed the ion group bound by the secondary linkage in metal have the coordination special arrangement corresponding to different coordination number means what they are saying if secondary valency whatever the secondary valency are there they will determine the spatial arrangement of the compound like they have given the structure of cu cl2 ns3 four times and cl is five so whatever outside of is there that is what is known as what primary valency okay primary okay valency they represent primary primary valency and known as the counter ion okay that is the counter ion and whatever the inside are there they are not ionizable and they are known as what they are known as what secondary valency so inside are they what are there that is the secondary valency okay secondary valency and that is satisfied by what neutral atom or molecule so this is whatever the dotted line are there they are representing the primary valency and rigid line solid line they are representing the secondary valency let us read out the one more example with the help of the Werner theory and uh, just try to understand what is the Werner theory in little the example way so <coughs> we got to know that according to Werner theory there are two types of valencies found in the coordination compound primary valency secondary valency primary valency is ionizable and satisfied by counter ion and secondary valency is not ionizable and that is satisfied the neutral molecule or ligand okay neutral molecule you can say now secondary valency is also determined the spatial arrangement of the molecule and it tells about the coordination number of molecule uh, complex also and it is fixed for the particular metal complex now let us see we are having the co ns3 six times cl3 whatever the outside of the sphere is there that is representing the counter ion you oh, know this is the counter ion a counter ion represent what that is primary valency you know primary valency now we, and other things you are there inside of the sphere are there they are representing the secondary valency secondary valency secondary valency secondary valency that is that is neutral molecule okay neutral molecule what is there in ns3 is the neutral molecule so co ns3 six times cl3 is there so whatever the ns3 inside are there they are representing the secondary valency molecule so they are represented by the solid line and whatever the primary valency out are there 3 cl it is represented by dash line so one representation in three in this representation primary valency 
ionizable represented by dotted line and secondary valency is solid line so we got to understand all the four postulates of Werner theory first postulate that is the metal complexes have two types of valency primary valency and secondary valency second point primary primary valency are the you know ionizable and it is satisfied by what the new uh, you know uh, counter ion and third point were there secondary valency is not ionizable and you know it is equal to the coordination number and th fourth point that is the secondary valency is secondary valency is responsible for the geometry okay or a special arrangement of the molecule in the coordination compound so this was all about the Werner theory of the coordination compound thank you so much for watching friend